All right, everybody. Today we're going to be doing a gourmet challenge inspired by the Try Guys. It's going to be with the McDonald's Happy Meals. They use the hamburger from the Happy Meal. We're going to actually use the four-piece chicken nuggets. We bought two McDonald's Happy Meals, and we're going to split it up between the main course and the dessert. So Linda already draw, or drew, and she's going to be doing the main course and I'm going to be doing the dessert. We're also going to add our own twist to it as well. She's going to be able to pick one ingredient or one object that she would like to use including the stuff from McDonald's. So it could be an oil, it can be salt, pepper, just something else but she has to use the stuff from McDonald's as well. She doesn't have to use everything but she just has to use those including the one thing that she wants. Me, I'm going to be doing the dessert, and I get to also pick one ingredient that I want to use. Okay, so we have the toys, the fries, the chicken nuggets, the sauces, apple slices, apple juice, my, my ingredient, which is the bread, Linda's ingredient, which is broccoli. We have no idea how we're going to make this into a gourmet meal, so let's begin. All right, I'm going to grab a cutting board and chop up my potatoes. Why? I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're just gonna go with it. And it's it's gonna be great. They messed up our order at McDonald's, so we're just doing we're just going with chicken nuggets instead of cheeseburgers. These fries have plenty of oil in them, so I, I don't think I need oil. I don't really know why I chose a broccoli. But we're gonna figure it out. Are you feeling confident about this challenge? No. <laughs> I hope it turns out good. Trust me, I don't feel confident either. I don't know how I'm gonna turn any of that into a dessert. I'm cutting this up and it looks very dry. I wanted to puree this, but we don't have anything to puree it and I don't think that would work. So I might have to add something to it. So I'm going to put my fries in a bowl. That's Cora's bowl. That's the first one I saw. And then I think I'm going to take some sauce. I think I'm going to use some signature sauce. A little bit of that in there. And mix it up so it is actually sticking together. And then, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> Aren't we off to a great start? <laughs> okay, maybe if I add a little more sauce, it'll actually stick together. I don't think this is working out, but we're going to put it into a pan anyways. Okay, I think I'm just going to cook my fries and like, Try to make a little patty out of it. I just, I need it to form into something. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so with the chicken, I don't know. We're just gonna, we're gonna chop it up as well. And I think your sauce is about to burn. Oh no. Okay, let's add in our chicken. Okay. Let's coat it. I'm gonna turn it down. Let's coat it in our chicken. This looks actually really good. It smells like orange chicken. So, let's take a plate. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a signature sauce. I'm gonna do like uh, something pretty. Mm. Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. I think I'm gonna do, okay, dots right here. And then on the other side, I'm gonna take my spoon. I'm just gonna drop some sauce in there and then take the bottom of my spoon and then do like this. I think I see it on Food Network, I don't know. Ta-da! Oh, and that's ugly. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we'll take our napkin and like clean it up a bit. I see them do this too on Food Network. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't think you're supposed to touch a napkin to the food. Okay. There, it, it looks better. You just cleaned it up and then you just put your spoon back in. Ugh. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use an apple. I think I'm gonna make a salad, <laughs> some sort of salad. I'm gonna dice it very small. I think the sweetness would go very well with the salty french fries, I think. I think we can go ahead, put all of this together. This is not a waste of a happy meal, guys. This is gonna be great. Let's try. I'll wait. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. <laughs> I think you're gonna like it though. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a lie? Because you're laughing. So I'm going to add a little bit of this in the center right here. And then I'm going to plate it very carefully. Gourmet. Gourmet. Meals are usually really expensive and they give you like barely anything in your plate. So I think I'm going to do the same. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I mean usually a plate just looks really empty whenever they serve it. Somehow really expensive. So I think we're gonna leave it empty. I'm very proud of my masterpiece. It looks very fancy. Okay guys, it's my turn now. I have to make a dessert, which I don't know what I'm gonna do, but Linda had some leftover fries. So I'm gonna use those. However, I'm gonna first start by um, cutting up some of these and trying to, I don't know, cook them for a little bit? I, I honestly have no <laughs> clue what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna make little slices. Now I'm gonna take this on over to the skillet that I have heating up on low, by the way. I'm just gonna let these uh, simmer here. You probably shouldn't touch the food with your hand if you're a gourmet chef, but. I see them do it all the time. No, shh, shh. <laughs> this is Noah Brain's <laughs> So let's continue. From there, I'm gonna take the other apple slices and I'm going to cut them up. I'm going to try and make it into like a, maybe like an apple pie, kind of, like a very quick apple pie and, or an apple crumble. That sounds pretty good. Apple crumble? I don't even know how to make an apple crumble, but for you guys, I'll give it a shot. I think you need like cinnamon and stuff. I don't have cinnamon. <laughs> I'm gonna work with what I got. It's gonna be Noah Brain's signature apple crumble without cinnamon because it's for the people who are allergic to cinnamon. Oh. Okay, you gotta think of everybody, not just like yourself. Like, I'm making this for vegans. Shout out to Elise Life. Vegans can have cinnamon. They I didn't think this through. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this up some more and then I'm gonna drop it into this with some apple juice and then I'm just gonna let this boil. And then I'm gonna turn it into maybe like a, I hope it turns into like a jelly because that would be nice. Okay, so whenever Keith from the Try Guys made his apple dumpinata or whatever it's called. Dumpinata. Dumpinata. He used the bread from the cheeseburger. And you have normal bread here, but they're saying that the bread tasted too bready. So what are you going to do to make sure it does not taste too bready? <laughs> Soak it in apple juice. That's what he did. I honestly don't know. How do you not get bread to taste bready? So I'm gonna let that sit over there for now. And I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna use the fries to make a little crunch. Cause I mean, it's like an apple pie crumble. I like that idea. A crumble pie, there we go. It's a crumble pie. And it's gonna have some crunch and some apple and bread. <laughs> And this has salt, so that should bring out the sweetness and the, from the apple juice and the apples and all the other sweet stuff that I used. Let's just take this and scoot those there. Okay, now we're gonna drop it in. I just spilled some of the fries, no. 
I gotta get those. Okay, now I pull this back over here. <laughs> thirsty. Oh, wow. What? That looks cool. I'm <laughs> proud. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and let this come like a goo, even though I said it was gonna be like crunchy. Because I'm gonna mix these with this one, and then these are gonna stay normal. And I'm gonna probably cook them separate so they get even crunchier. I wish I had butter so it wouldn't stick. Oh, I already ripped it. Okay, I'll try with this piece first, and that other piece will become the top slice. So I'm going to take some of this one, soak this a little bit, a little bit there, and then I'm going to put it down in here. Look at that, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Guys, I'm burning it. Now it's becoming crunchy. Gonna... We don't have any more apple in the fries, so I have to work with that. So this is the next piece I'm going to use. I'm going to use the blender because I need to blend this and make it into a jam and I'm going to just go ahead and drop these in. <laughs> Doesn't taste too bad. I like how you put the rest back into there. You didn't see that, guys. So now, you take like a little, is this a tea or a tablespoon? Tablespoon. That's a tablespoon? Yeah. That's a teaspoon, I thought. The tablespoon's smaller? No, teaspoon is smaller. So this is a teaspoon. Is that a small spoon? Yeah, okay. Now you take a, a spoonful, you drop it down in there, you just set it right in there. From there, I'll take a little piece of bread. And I just set it on top. How do you think you're doing? Horrible. How do you feel about Cora joining the competition? She's going to hurt herself. Oh, yeah. See, look at that. Oh, my God. Perfect. How am I going to get it out of here? I honestly don't know. I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Change of plans, guys. There we go. Ooh. That's my that's my dish. Okay, everybody, we just finished the gourmet challenge, and Linda made uh, what is it called again? Orange chicken? And I made what seems to be mashed potatoes on bread, and I'm going to call it Twice Vomited Apple. I think it's a great name. It sounds gross. It looks gross. So I'm going to try Linda's first, and then Linda will try mine. And yeah, I'll tell you what I think. I'm scared. So I think I should incorporate like all parts of the meal. Oh my god. In one. That's probably not going to taste good like that. Mm. It's good, but not when you eat it like that. I think separately it tastes very good. Let's see. I'll just eat one of the chicken nuggets. I'm scared. <laughs> it tastes like I toasted bread and I poured applesauce on it <laughs> and then it got soggy. I did great. <laughs> Try a little bit of this. Yeah, Linda did better than me. Okay, now I try my own. After what Linda said, it doesn't give me much hope. I can't even cut through it. <laughs> the little apple french fry salad does not taste that bad. The consistency does not feel good. It's mushy and crunchy and exactly what I was going for, guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so. The chicken uh, and broccoli are really good. Yeah. So, um, since y'all can't taste it, based off of appearances, uh, who do you think won? Leave the comments down below.